Yeah, Dave, I wanted to ask about, you guys win that challenge at the end of the second period, but the goal right before that, the replay looked like a little bit of a kicking motion. Was that something that you guys could have challenged or considered challenging? Yeah, we thought about it. I just didn't think we were going to win that challenge. It's something we looked at and uh, didn't think it was gonna, we were going to win it. Next question comes from Molly Walker with the New York Post. Molly, go ahead. Hey, David. Um, considering the success you guys had on the power play for a majority of the game, how would you evaluate the three you had in the third period with a chance to tie it up? You know, what did you see there? Well, we had great looks. I mean, listen, their goalie played well. Um, you know, the real story was the start of the game for us. I mean, I thought <clears throat> after the – after. You know, the eight-minute mark, I thought we started playing the last seven or eight minutes of the first. We started playing well, doing some good things. I thought we did some pretty good things in the second and third, but not enough. And you just can't give up goals the way we did. They, you know, we, you know, the first goal is a bad change. Uh, you know, we end up, you know, unfortunately giving up a breakaway, hits a pad, and they go the other way. Just, you know, their goals were too easy. So, you know. Give them credit. They competed hard. They did a lot of good things, but uh, you know we just we played 48 minutes instead of 60, and we just uh, we're not going to have a chance to win night in and night out if that's how we're going to do it. Next question comes from Mark Rosenman with Sports Talk New York. Mark, go ahead. It, continuing on, on that vein, coach. I mean, you do get 50 shots on goal, lots of high quality you know, yeah. chances. Yeah. Power play seemed to click. You know, Adam Fox. You know, on the blue line during those power plays, maybe the best I've seen him since he's been here. Lemieux draws two penalties. You did get a lot of contributions up and down the lineup. Which do you take from it? The you know, especially such a young team, half right. full, half empty. Good learning. Experience. Yeah, they, look, half full. I just listen. We we just got it's early. Um, you know, one of the things we got to continue to harp on and manage is the puck. I thought we turned it over too much through the neutral zone. We've got to continue to understand the five foot passes and puck support and how we're going to play. It allow us to have some speed. Um, and we got to be ready from the drop of the puck. It was just disappointing that we started the way we did. I did like how we recovered in the. I think we only had two shots in the first 12 minutes, and then, you know, all of a sudden we started, you know, playing with tempo, and we weren't soft offensively either. I mean, we're getting inside. We were shooting pucks. One of the things we've been harping on is shooting more pucks. You don't get 50 shots unless you shoot, and then we're, we were we were getting inside. So, you know, we got to tighten things up with the puck. That that is our number one problem. I said this after the second Islander game when we manage the puck well, we play better defense, and I just thought we gave up. We gave the puck up too often in the neutral zone in, the, in dangerous areas, and it really slowed us down a little bit. Next question comes from Tom Marion. Tom, go ahead. Coach, you start the season with three home games but come away with only one victory. Do you consider that a lost opportunity? Yeah, obviously with no crowds this day and age, I don't know how much uh, home or away are going to make it that big of a difference. Um, again, I, I you know I thought... You know, we're continuing, you know, we, we dusted ourselves off after that first bad performance, played pretty well against the Islanders, did some good things tonight. Um, you know, we had plenty of chances, you saw it, and, uh, you know, we just got to we gotta go to work tomorrow and keep getting better and understanding how, what we need to do and how we need to play in order to have success consistently. That was the thing. We, we weren't consistent enough in the things that we need to do to win. Next question comes from Howie Carpin. Howie, go ahead. Coach Jacob in his post game pressers mentioned he was answering a question about puck possession. He said, avoiding the big mistake. Could you uh, talk about what he was referring to there? You may have touched on it already, talking about dumping the puck in bad areas. And things. Yeah, I mean, that's that's what we got to do. We just got to avoid the big mistakes. And it was, you know, one of the, I mean, we won some games last year, but if you look at, you know, unfortunately, we've got to learn how not to lose as much as we've got to continue to learn how to win. That, that's a balancing act. And sometimes when you go out there, if nothing happens in your shift, that's a pretty good shift. You know, you're not great things aren't going to happen all the time. So we've got to understand that, and it's something we've got to learn. 